I'm back with another mukbang. Truck bang challenge. Come get you some. Bussin'. 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 Let's get it. Bussin'. Bussin'. <laughs> Bussin'. You got to trust the Coke Zero. You know what I'm talking about? Bussin'. 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 Say what up, King Folk. Bussin'. Bussin'. It is what it is. I'm back with another mukbang. Hey, we got a seafood boy today with some mussels and some shrimp. And we got some corn, some sauces, some spicy sauces. I don't know how much of that sauce I can eat. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. My cousin got it for me when we was in uh, Beaufort, Georgia. I didn't know it was that hot. And so some potatoes, some of them. Even them potatoes, it's just pop in your mouth. Mm. What else? And we got that smack delicious B-Love sauce. Let me do that thumbnail right quick before I forget. That smack, the, 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 the package all ripped, but it's all good. We got that smack delicious B Love sauce. Today. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my favorite sauce. I'll go ahead and say it. Uh, it's one in a close second. I gotta try some more. I don't know which one I'm gonna try. If y'all wanna see me some, try. Go ahead and do that. But now. Dub rolling with the kid. Coldest water bottle. Link in the description. You use Lil Gilmore as your discount code. You save 10% off your entire purchase. Coldest water bottle. Go get you one. We finna say grace and we finna get it in. Yeah, that have a still here. They have a still here. I ain't got a I ain't got a new uh, mug yet. Come get you some. Hey man. It's hot. You got time for this? I don't. You blowing me. You blowing me. Okay, we're gonna start off with a muscle. Mmm. Mm, you can never see it. Okay. It's a muscle. You know, sauce going away, so. I thought they'd be bigger. I told him green lip. He brought me green leaf. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. And so. Be that so. Be marinating. Mmm. Bussin. Hey, he's up. As I said before, you saw bussin on all types of seafood, but it's all levels. You hear me? From day one. That's cold, baby. That's real cold. I'm gonna eat corns. <clears throat> and some egg. We got some egg in here. Egg at the bottom though. <coughs> oh Jesus. <coughs> oh Jesus. <coughs> Y'all saw how I lick my fingers. <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy. How 
How y'all doing today, Ken Folk? It's everything. Cope steady. Good. That's real good. Give me one of these shrimps. Mmm, mmm. Uh, spicy. The sauce is making the sauce spicy. <coughs> I got a. Uh, First take, ESPN first take on TV, cause the home team, the home team, Kwame Brown has had enough. You hear me? Talking about he'll bust and they still talking about him. He ain't played Lee. He got drafted 20 years ago. Mm. I don't know, um, they was talking about him on that All the Smoke podcast. Kwame went on Twitter and YouTube. Now right, look, I had enough of this. Now let's get into this grown man. All basketball aside, you can check my numbers, but we finna get into this grown man. <clears throat> he had had enough. And some of that stuff he was talking, he was right. And that was enough, man. Why you, why you coming down at another black man? He ain't said nothing to y'all. Leave that man alone. And I'm a home team. And when he say, Brunswick, they don't want no smoke. They don't want no smoke. When he say he done had a hard life, he done had a hard life. My daddy knew him. Hey man, the brother. So I can co-sign some of that, but he don't need it. Well, well, athletics is one thing, but that grown man is another. You can't call anybody a bus. You made it to the NBA, you made it. They give you millions of dollars. Hmm, you call me what you want. And then the thing is, if he was I is doing crazy stuff now. I ain't saying every person don't do nothing wrong. Maybe they do. I just said something I read about him. he got pulled over by the police. Wow. So have I on numerous occasions. I'm not a bad person. But Let that man live. That's my home team, so I'm gonna support him. 
I, I'm, I'm in Brunson. I don't see, I ain't heard about him doing nothing bad. I heard about him doing good stuff. I ain't saying nobody perfect, but let that man live. <clears throat> he got another thing right, too. DC, DC got them country roots. My dad in DC, DC, that's why he, when he came down here, he was right at home. My daddy did some stuff for the good, but it, he had to do some rough stuff for the good of people. I ain't gonna bring that up. God bless the dead. You hear me? And he he spitting facts on some of that stuff now. But my thing is, leave that man alone. You got a podcast. He right. He right about some other stuff. You got a podcast. Instead of talking about him when he ain't there, invite him to the show. Cause he got people. He don't need no protection. He got people. Invite him to the show. You know what I'm saying? Then talk. Y'all talk together. You don't want to do that. I don't want to hear. But like I said, I'm looking at Stephen A's uh, first tape. Because Stephen A, he brought Stephen A's name up too. I'm going to see if Stephen A going to click back. I looked on, uh, uh, what's that show? Skipping Shannon Undefeated. Shannon was basically like, hey man, the man I had enough. He talked about Michael Jordan, saying the way he drafted him was a whole setup. He he wasn't even planning on nurturing him to being a basketball player. He just drafted him. Y'all, he got a YouTube channel, Kwame Brown. He got a YouTube channel, and you can look at his Twitter. YouTube channel tell everything. Twitter sell, tell tell the highlights. Then George just wanted Elton Brand. Hey, Kwame done had enough. I've never even tried this video. Kwame Brown has had enough. He's sitting there smoking a the hooker, telling everybody to be in it. I'm dipping it in the salt, just drinking it. I'm sorry. I'm going to have some trouble guts. You hear me? I ain't listening to the whole thing because I came down here. I came in here. I'm sorry, filming. But I'm going to listen to it. I might not get this video the same day because I wasted time and I got to go to work. But Kwame was dropping dimes, and somebody gonna have to answer <laughs> or invite him to the show or something. How you talking about them boys? I ain't give it a ring this. Kwame said, Y'all talking about y'all want all the smoke. Y'all want some of the smoke. He cursed, though. I ain't even cursed. He said, Y'all want some of the smoke. Y'all want all the smoke. Yeah, what y'all podcast has been named? Some of the smoke. Home team now, I'm here. I don't think. I don't hear him do nothing but good. I know it's struggle too. How many pieces of corn I got? I mm, got potatoes. I let him in the potatoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Melt it in my mouth. Hey, Kool Aid! Oh, yeah! He got the grape. I ran out of cherry and tropical punch. I need that table. I don't care. Good 
Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I tell you, I'm gonna tell the story today. I might as well go ahead and tell you. I think I done told it before on a live or something. Cause I almost got hit the other day by a Mercedes. And I was on the phone with Faith Mama and uh <laughs> I started telling it to her. And she was like, boy, it was funny. <clears throat> by the time we went to uh Mm. It's gonna be quick. By the time we went to uh Black Beach Week, this was twenty. This was twenty seven years ago. I was a freshman in college. On the way there. We going through Jacksonville and got in the wreck, got in the incident. Somebody hit us in the back. No, we hit somebody in the back and had a cooler full of beer in the trunk. So, I wasn't planning on going to jail and I wasn't going. I would do anything I needed to do in order to not go to jail. Before the police got there, we took all that beer and dumped it on the side of the road. Just dumped it and went down the hill. We took it all and dumped it. And now, all right, well, listen, man, why we, well, hey, we just say it ain't ours. I wasn't going to jail. I didn't even tell my mom and dad I was going. But they're like, boy, you supposed to be in Statesboro. I know it. I know. But I ain't. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are, Mama. Here we are, Daddy. And I didn't tell him, still, <coughs> about the incident in Jacksonville. Police got here, gave me a ticket. I ain't never heard nothing about it. I, ain't, I wasn't driving, so it's fine with me. I don't know how. But John Lee, I forget who was driving. I think John Lee was driving. I don't know if he got sued or what. Ain't nobody call me to be no witness. Good. I don't even think, it's it been years ago, but I don't even think I gave information. So, we turned around and went back home. Not. We should have. All them cars going towards that turn. Nah, we going. It's going to take a it's gonna take a war to keep us from that. So, we get up, have a good time. Good is to be expected. Mm, I'm dead. On the way back, Bay leaf. <laughs> I forgot to put that in there. Or did I? I ain't put no bay leaf in there. We got bay leaves in her stuff. That was the whole bay leaf. Instead of going 95, we went 17 through St. Augustine. We was going to stop at the alligator farm to see the big old alligator. And we were driving, and there was a car. It was a truck in front of us. And uh, Hamp was talking, and he was running his mouth. And I, I tapped him. I said, bro, look. And he slammed on brakes. And then the car behind us hit us. And I was like, oh, no. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, well, my mom and dad are going to have to find out some kind of way. God dog it. God 
dog. Well, we ain't had no beer or nothing in the car. We was straight. We was chilling. So all of a sudden, I look back. John Lee smiling. What's your brother? And I look. T. Fred smiling too. I said, man, what's so funny? Did I miss something? Y'all niggas got concussions. What's wrong with y'all? Oh no. They done damaged their brains. My mama gonna whoop me. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Boy, just don't let your mama and daddy find out you was in Florida this weekend. Johnny said, Man, D, we finna get paid. <laughs> now look at him. He started laughing. He said, for real? He said, yeah, they hit us in the back. It's their fault. I said, oh, Lord. Tommy time Chris, he grabbed me like, yup, we sure is. And he started laughing and giggling. I said, you hurt for real? He said, nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, it's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, I mean, we could have been hurt. We don't know. It's a statute of limitations on whatever. Ooh, whatever, he shouldn't hit us. I'm a lie. <laughs> this is a lie, and I'm sticking with it. Whoever looking. And I was like, oh, okay. So the paramedics came, and he was like, hey, whatever they do, say you hurt. Whatever they do, you do it. Whatever they say do, you do it. I like, okay, then we finna get paid. So when I say paid, I'm thinking thousands of dollars. I'm thinking money so tall, I don't even wanna fall. You know what I'm talking about? I said, yeah, we finna get fucking some money, man. I'm gonna get tired of being broke in school. So they came, they came, they came and said, anybody hurt? And I, me and Hat turned around and looked at John Lee. John Lee's like, yeah, my neck hurt. <laughs> so, 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 so the people came to the inside of the car and, uh, and, and pulled him out of the car. They said, they told him not to move <laughs> as least as possible. So they pulled him out of the car and they put him on a, one of them board stretchers. Not one with the wheels on, just a flat board to put him on that and him laying out in the street. And he say, anybody else? And he was like, yeah, we hurt too. <laughs> I'm trying to get paid, you hear me? It's a dirty world. It's a dirty world. We hurt too. So. <laughs> they come to all our sides. They came on to my side, opened the door, they said, try to move, this is possible. I was limp. Mm -hmm. Looking like a slug. They pulled me out of the car. Try not to move your neck. I said, okay, man, I'm going to buy me some clothes. That's what I was thinking. They had all four of us in this country road on the ground, two ambulances. Two ambulances laid out. Ain't nothing, wasn't nothing wrong with us. This little, this black paramedic girl, she about, uh, she might have been a little older than us. <laughs> she, uh, she come looking at us somehow, like, mm. <laughs> She know good well we wasn't hurt. Hey, I have money to take you out with your fine self. I ain't say that, but I wanted to. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day, just years ago. <laughs> hemp, hemp on the stretcher, he laughing. I see his teeth. He darker than me, so I see his teeth smiling. I say, bruh, you might want to start smiling so much. T. Craig, he's sitting there giggling on the stretcher. I said, bruh, this, this ain't gonna work. Somebody finna find out about us. I wanted to call my mom and daddy, but hey, they supposed to, they ain't supposed to know I'm there. So, make a long story short, we got to the hospital. They did some x rays. <laughs> All of us, they did some x-rays. And and they came to the room and they said, how you feel? Was two of us was in, me and Hat was in the room, John Lee and uh, T. Craig was in the other one. They said, you feel okay? He said, yeah. And we didn't find nothing wrong with you in the x-rays. Them fools knew we wasn't hurt. <laughs> Matter of fact, they didn't even ask us if we had a ride to get home. They should have waited. I think we supposed to wait at the hospital till the ride came and discharged us. We was minors. <laughs> Them jokers said, y'all get on out of here. I promise you not my hand to God. They let us walk away from the hospital. We ain't had no ride or nothing. So I had to call my sister. <laughs> and I told her not to tell my daddy. <laughs> my mama, she hit, but she don't hit as hard as my daddy. My daddy hit hard. 
Yeah, I probably would have got a whipping at 19, 20 years old. Yeah, I probably would have got a whipping. So, we started walking down 95. It was a highway. It was a highway. <laughs> We walked down 95, I think toward a, a Waffle House. We were sitting outside a Waffle House. And I was like, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they're supposed to let us go like that. I think they're supposed to wait. <laughs> and just, he was like, yeah, for real. And I was like, they knew our asses was lying. That's what <laughs> I say, but we finna get paid, right? <laughs> That's all I care about. I ain't doing all this stupid stuff not to get paid. Because I still might get a whipping. I could. I ain't trust my sister 100%. She still might have told my daddy. And her husband. <laughs> so, they came eventually and picked us up. And he said, I said, did you tell mom and daddy? And he said, no. I said, appreciate you. Where y'all coming from? Black Beach Week. She said, boy, you love living dangerously, don't you? You hard-headed. I said, sometimes. They just kicked us out of the hospital, though. I said, man, that's messed up. We was in college. Something could have happened. Something could have happened now, for real. They ain't talking about Kwame. I think this will do me. Couple months later, you got five thousand dollars a piece. Had to get a lawyer, so we got thirty-three hundred dollars a piece. <laughs> Tom, Tommy, spit his on food. I know what John Lee did with his. Had put him his in another vehicle, and he I guess he got some money for the vehicle too, but it was like no fault state or something like that. I don't know. I know he got another vehicle. And me? I bought some clothes. And some food too. Hang on, I bought some food too. You know what I'm saying? We was balling out of the troll then. We bought some sneakers and some shirts, you know. Went out to eat by myself because I ain't had no chick. I ain't eating out of the hell. Popping this imminent potato in my mouth though. I'm full. I ain't finna push this. More of the story is, I always tell your parents where you're at because you'll never know my, what might happen. For real. For real. Hey. Let me get this hug from you. <clears throat> Without struggle, there's no victory. Don't forget to like. Comment, subscribe, and share with the world. Get you some of this beloved sauce. For a limited time, it's half off. <clears throat> so you can get two for the price of one. Go get you some. I love y'all, man. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay kinfolk. Bustin'.